All right, I don't want to be all Mr. Doom and Gloom here, but the fact is there are people out there who are not very nice, and I bet their mothers are ashamed and don't talk about them much at family gatherings. Some of these unseemly people are messing with our wildlife and environment. But now there's a sound new approach to help fight against those who poach. Here's Allie Ward to explain. We don't like poachers. Standing small amidst the quiet of a California redwood forest, you notice the absence of sound. But it's the presence of sound in the world's rainforest that's captivated Topher White, founder of Rainforest Connection, and motivated him to tune into sound in a way that reveals and protects when it detects signs of incursion. Increasingly, the natural sounds of the rainforest are being interrupted by the noise of chainsaws due to illegal logging. So Topher has created a simple device that detects those sounds and alerts local authorities so they can act before damage has been done. Our mission at Rainforest Connection is to build technology and partnerships around the world to protect the most wild places. What that usually means for us is to take uh, old smartphones, put them up in trees in the rainforest where they can listen to all the sounds and actually provide real-time intelligence of what's happening, even if it's bad things like chainsaws, logging trucks, to people on the ground so they can show up and stop it. Imagine spending 85% of your time in the heights of the world's rainforests, as Topher does, and you'll understand his level of commitment. We met in Woodside, California, to glimpse the nature of his work. So what are we looking at here? So uh, we're looking at kind of the field kit. This is uh, what we'll take off into these remote places to be able to put together an entire Rainforest Guardian. And Rainforest Guardian is a listening device that we put up in trees. Essentially, it's uh, a fancy box for an, uh, a little smartphone, which is used to record the sounds of the forest and send it up to our system. Here's the box itself. This is where the power comes in with some antenna leads and a powerful microphone. On the inside, we have a battery, some circuitry to keep the solar panels going, and a phone. To show us how his installation process would work in an impacted rainforest, Topher climbed a redwood for demonstration purposes. The redwoods are a different climbing experience than the rainforest because this trunk goes straight up, so you're always just like a few feet away from the trunk. He promised he'd be careful, so. And once done, a thumbs up from Topher and a climb back down. I think a lot of people probably aren't aware that illegal logging happens even. Mm. Is this considered a poaching of trees? Uh, in a lot of cases, yes. Between 50 and 90% of all the rainforest logging in the world is illegal, which means that wood is actually taken out of these places that no one actually knows. And if that's the case, it can really take a big bite of it. There's a mandate to stop illegal logging with local groups. If we can really come to understand the ecosystem through sound, bioacoustics and ecology, that actually uh, is a whole new paradigm of science and understanding of nature. And that's actually what we're starting to get into right now. Heightening our senses and elevating our collective existence.